Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. We are picking up um, right where we left off in the last uh, episode. Um, getting ready to rematch Cassiopeia. So, uh, before we ge begin, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. We are here typically Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central. Remember to follow us over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates when there are changes to the streaming schedule. Um, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. Otherwise, we are ready to go. Um... I don't remember what all Cassiopeia had. Let's see what we've got as far as higher level stuff. We have a Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri. Um, might not be a bad idea. Set it done sparse. I mean. Plus is displayed. We have this down. <laughs> and I like to bring him with us, but I think it's going to be too uh, um, prone to catastrophic end. Because it's a pretty low level. Leafeon's a solid level, but it's grass type. I think we had a. I think he had a fire type. Gimme Ghoul. It's a level 50. Aaron Treads is 45. It's a ground steel. That might be a fair. Uh, Forty-nine on Alexio, but I've got Pikachu. Forty-three on a Despars. It's normal type. Forty-one there. I'm really wanting everything because I think he's fifty-nine and sixty. Sure, let me. There's a forty-nine. He's all electric though. 50 ice. We've got a couple of grass, so I don't think a 50 um, ice type, or 50 leaf yawn, I don't think that's probably wise. Level 49 Axew. Maybe dragon. We've got Tatsugiri, who is a dragon. A 45 Deli Bird, he is Ice Twine. 47, if 47 Fairy. Oh, if I need to bring my Umbreon, that might be a good option. That'd be a solid Dark type. Okay, let's grab a couple of things we need to do. This leaf you up on. Over here. Yeah, there. We need this Glaceon. Over here as well. And then, we're going to go ahead and take Umbreon instead of Lechonk. We have an ice type, but uh, TM we can give to snows a lot. This is a 53 ice type. I 
Hello, Kuru. Did I post something to do with Pizza Hut earlier, or are you seeing things? I don't recall. I can check pretty easily. I did not post anything Pizza Hut related on Unexpectedly Random. <laughs> Not recently. I don't see. I don't see anything recent on uh, on my personal page either. <laughs> if it's Facebook that you're referring to, if that's where you would have seen it. Um, I'm not seeing any uh, faith-related things anytime recently, but that's not to say that um, I, you, there might have been somebody when you were uh, going, pulling up onto Twitch. There may have been somebody else with a active stream, or because they suggest other um, users and things um, that they think you may be familiar with or interested in or whatever. So it might have been something that way. Notification on Twitch from Unexpectedly Random and Pizza Hut. That's... that's weird. <laughs> Did I get an inadvertent sponsor that I wasn't aware of? I'm not gonna be able to see. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. That's, uh... Interesting. I don't have any notifications on... on my Twitch. As far as if it was just, a, like, a general advertisement that they sent out or something. Um, I don't... I don't have that on my end, but... If it was something tied to my channel, it wouldn't notify me on my channel for it, if that makes sense. Like, notifications for my channel don't, don't go out to my self. So I'm not sure. That's fascinating. If it is a... something um, sponsor related. I mean, that'd be cool, but uh, I'm doubtful. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Screenshot it, and you may be able to post it in the chat here if it uh, if we're still live when it occurs. Otherwise, you can... I mean, you can probably post it as a comment on something over there on Facebook. I don't know if you can post photo comments on on uh, Instagram stuff, but Facebook you should be able to. Anyway, with all that uh, 
taken care of. Um, we are currently looking to rematch um, the leader of Team Star, uh, Cassiopeia. So that's I'm just kind of looking through moves and things to see if we can get something lined up to better deal with that. And I think we're going to attempt it with this, uh, this crew here. I think we'll keep Snow a lot and we'll put, uh, put Glaceon up there. Let's see if we have any TMs that we can give um, Snow's a lot. That might be useful. Actually, what I need to do first is click on here and see if there's any that you can relearn. Change moves. There we go. Remember moves. You have moves available. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Bug Buzz is pretty solid. Side. What have we currently got? You don't have sleep or anything. Psyduck? Uh, I'm not sure what my Psyduck level is, but we'll back at we'll we'll get back in there and take a look at him. Because the battle we're going into, or are you talking about the Psyduck walking through the background here? <laughs> He's on a uh, perpetual loop, I think. The yeah, the one that the walks on the the background there. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and oh, actually, icy wind. 55, nope, we'll stick with Bug Buzz. There we go. Wow, I was kind of looking for some confirmation there, but that, I guess, that'll work. <laughs> Alrighty, and away we go. Sup, Levi? This is Clive. Uh -huh. Well, last time I actually uh, gave in and, and, and called him Clive like he was asking for, but Director Clavel, 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 I don't remember how I was pronouncing that. Oh, come on. My name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha! <laughs> I do apologize for deceiving you in disguise. Eh, nobody was deceived. Not a single person. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uva Academy, Mr. Clavel. No way! <laughs> yes, this must be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. For real? That's impossible. For real? <laughs> Honest to goodness. I think that's what I said before. It was for real. When you heard Cassio go over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off uh, using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. See, and I mentioned before, this piece of, of text here um, it feels very, I'm lying to you, but I'm going to try and convince you of something. Because he's not, he's not very confident. Every time he was Clive, he was talking about the Clive stuff. He was very, very confident in he was Clive, and this is the stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't this trying to make stuff up on the spot sort of thing. So I still think there's probably more to Cassiopeia than what's actually going on here. Also, it's not nighttime, which is when we're supposed to meet Cassiopeia here to battle. 
So, Mr. Levi, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to defeat it all. This is actually the second final showdown. Because I lost the first time. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will... Uh, Team Star... Or Operation Starfall will finally come to an end. Cool. Let's see, level 60 versus level 51. I don't think I'm going to be faster. I am faster. And I'm going to hit. Eee. That is not enough damage. Sleep. Also, good thing to note, if you fall asleep while you're using fly in between turns, because after this turn I'm guaranteed to fall asleep. If you're in the air with fly and you fall asleep, it voids out fly and you don't get to attack. It does not overcome the, the sleepiness. Found that out the hard way. Come on, paralysis. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go here because the odds of actually waking up is very slim on the first turn. Ouch! That hurt a lot. dark so that should that should reduce the damage from psychic types spike to uh, get our point across no Hopefully we'll wake up. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Um, he's gonna use Blizzard. And Blizzard hits more often when it's snowing. Blizzard is a one-hit kill. Prevent stat changes. Or made it. Oh, good. You woke up, finally. Get me a flinch. That is it. To oh, I'm toast, I'm toast, I'm toast! Come on! is weak against ice, but bug type is strong against whatever he is. How is bug type strong against ice? He's got to be like an ice grass dual type. But no, it's evolution of Snowbird, and Snowbird is 
pure grass. Or pure, pure ice. I don't know. Um, we're gonna battle. We're going to 50, 50, 90. We guess we're gonna bug buzz. I'm oh, it's not a one hit kill. It's just a really strong attack. Okay, since this next move is going to take me out anyway, I'm going to go ahead and revive our Meowskarada. Please do a Roar of Ale. Nope. That's, you know, wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Oh, Wanda's got a low battery. Okay, we'll go a little bit until it, uh, kicks up the notice a time or two more. Hmm. can tank a shot, though. He's dragging the water. Ice isn't super effective against... Yeah, we'll try it. The only problem is speed. If Sprigatito's not faster, which I doubt it is... Um... Tatsugiri's going to have to, uh, tank so we can... Different effects whether a user is ghost or not. Kick. Ouch. Nice. Keep up the re- Also, take a nap next turn. It's not. Whoa. Oh, that works. Didn't go to sleep, but that works. Gyarados. Um, no, we'll stay because. Mascarada. Do something non-attack related. That's not to better qualify. Okay, Tatsugiri. You're water type and dragon type, so you shouldn't be weak to and eh, dragon's weak to itself though. That's a problem. Oh, no, it's not weak to itself. Um, It's not, and so I just wasted two turns. Um, Gyarados is water dragon, I think. 
So let's bump Pikachu, I guess. This is really bad. <laughs> I don't want to risk missing Thunder, so we're going to go Thunderbolt. Get a Paralyze, please. Yes! No, actually be paralyzed. Yes! Oof. Oof. Okay, give me just a minute to uh, make sure I'm on track. Okay. Okay, get paralyzed. That also should slow him down. Um, I really can't risk it as far as. Because uh, I, I could have. Hope you guys this ghost type. Ghost is weak against dark. I'm going to stay here and use Pikachu to heal Dark One. And Sucker Punch fails. Good, good, good. And then we're going to use Pikachu to heal a Dragon One. Sucker Punch again, please. because there's always a chance of static um, giving us paralysis. That's mm. Just do this back and forth. Mm. 
but eventually... Maybe it'll use a... Sucker Punch. Let's go ahead and get... Sprigatito Revive. Just something different. Sucker Punch, please. the first time and I'm significantly higher level than I was then. Okay. And Shadow Ball is a special attack, so that's not even going to pull static from Pikachu. Willow Wisp tries to hurt so It actually seems like oh no Willow Wisp is just a burn. So it's not actually a damage attack. It's like Thunder Wave is just a paralysis. Okay. Um, it seems like the AI in this game is like quite a bit more aware. Let's do this one then. Willow SBM. Hey, you cured me with of uh, the burn, though. Let's go... Let's go... It snows a lot. Let's see if we can get a burn. Oh, hey! Zelda Elise! Welcome back, welcome back. Hey, it's Kosher. Glad to have you here, even if you're lurking. Um, we are just trying to take out... Um, Dr. or not Dr. Um, Mr. Clavel slash Clive slash Cassiopeia. Although I speculate that there's more to Cassiopeia than just uh, this guy being in charge. So, and it's not really going much better than the last time at this point. So there's that. Let's go ahead and. Hyper Potion, get Umbreon back up to stats, or back up to strength. Give me a Sucker Punch, please. That'll be cool. I'm pretty sure Dark is super effective against, uh, yeah, which means it should be not very effective. Is Shadow Ball, though, is a dark type. I don't think it's a ghost type attack. We'll try it. Okay, okay that's beautiful. Awesome. That is just a burn. And I can I can deal with that. Not an issue. You get burned too. <laughs> ah, eat it, Ulti guys. Forgot that uh, it's yeah, synchronize or synchronize. The speed ramps way up. Yep, 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 yep. Take the burn. That's good. Cause I can I can push through the burn. Is already faster than me, so it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter what we do here. Ninety-five power, and it did effectively zero little. Not very effective. That is beautiful. This is a good. It's a good thing. Nice. Oh, because it's defense drop from the weak armor. Good work. Good work, Umbreon. The burn is trivial. Not a big move. Moongus. It's poison type, so grass is bad. We will stay. Um, what do we got? We've got one in the wings. P. 
Pikachu is super effective if I can get the attack off. His speed's pretty high. Okay, let's use the last of Umbreon's health to heal Pikachu. Fully restore. Apparently I found a bunch of those. Those are slick. Poison's terribly effective on... Yeah... I don't know that... I, I think it's maybe just normally effective, so maybe... Ooh, even better, it's Grass-type. Grass-type! Grass-type! Okay, sweet. Use... use that. It's, yeah. Okay, we need to heal the Pika. Hold on. Wait. 60. 6 and 6 would be... Oh, yeah, this will get me there. No sense in using the Hyper one. If I can fully heal with a Zuper. That badly poisons, but it doesn't actually damage, so that's a free move. Oh, I can't poison the Moogus. Because I've been, yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, um. Let's go ahead and get some other ones restored. Uh, grass types are weak against poison, so the snows a lot. That's fine. I could use the full restore here. Again, that'll bring since since Umbreon's tanking these moves pretty good, both the poison and the Giga Drain stuff. Yeah. That will give us more opportunities to patch up some of these other guys. Perfect. Free attack, free attack. Or free move, round turn thing. And I still can't poison that, that's unfortunate. Oh, and the poisoning does very little. That's awesome. Okay, we'll go ahead and revive Sprigatito because having a Pokemon is better than hoping that I can tank a move on another one. And poison. We're gonna go ahead and do one more full restore on this one. Because then I can get everybody mostly fully healed, I think. And if they're going to be able to tank anything, then they'll be set up as good as they can be. Okay. Um, Okay, um, bag. We are healing. Um, 60. Okay, 60, we get Sprigatito then. And then I'll have to use the Hyper Potions for the other two. No, but that's not even gonna poison me, so. There'll be more I can. 
through with this. Uh, let's go Snows a lot first, because I think Ice type's going to be better matched up. Because Ice is strong against the grass. Ooh, it's four. Puts me to sleep. Does that synchronize? No, it doesn't. And I don't think it would affect him when gets anyway, because that's one of the things it has. But that's fine. Sleep is trivial. Sleep does not hurt me. Potion for six is twelve. One, three, four, seven, yeah. It's not much more, but it's worth it, I think. Pretty sure a moon just can't be put to sleep. Everybody is good. Point, it's just a matter of uh, yeah, that's my, my face too. <laughs> matter of hope and tank through the move and you woke up. Well, like first, I know that much. Wake up. Oh. Hex is a ghost type baby, so it's not very effective on dark types. Okay. We'll do this. Um, we've got a dark type attack. I need to make sure I don't terrestalize because I did that before and it was not good. Um, we need. If we end up having to switch to. Oh, wait. Break that. We want to go Pikachu. Because that was a faint. Okay, so this is a free attack. Pikachu's got a high speed stat. So we're going to... Mm, we're going to both terrestrialize and fly. We might be able to get through this, actually. Forty-three minutes already on this battle. Or basically 43. It's 43 on the recording, so I guess it's more like 30 because we did the uh, setup, preliminary setup. For me. What? What? How does Toxic hit me when I'm flying? And that's not even strong enough. That's that's gonna hurt. Oh, fatal. I didn't think anything. I don't think even uh, Swift can hit you when you're flying. Like, seriously, what on earth? Oh, that could be fun. Inflicted double the damage taken. Retaliatory attack. My speed's gonna be low. If I can if I can Let's put Snow Slot in. Revive my Umbreon. That'll show me, because he's 53, it's a different type, but he's 53. That should tell me, give me an idea. And, hello! Um, you're walking through the battle zone. Okay. Oops, please add me. No big deal. Gives me a free opportunity to heal things. Uh, um, E5... 
so we are going to have to hyper. We're going to go full heal on Umbreon, because Umbreon tanks this guy's hex, that's going to hurt. So odds are we're not going to be able to respawn as far as the Tatsugiri and the Mirror Code technique. Um, go on Umbreon. Umbreon's faster? Yes. So, here we go. As long as you don't go... Don't move much. Still orange, okay. It's kosher. We can we can work with that. It's annoying, but we can work with that. Foul play. Maybe we'll get some special defense drop. Ooh, so close. Spore. Ah, the sleepies. Do not want to be sleeping right now. What's the odds of waking up on the first time? Zero percent. Okay, I don't think zero percent, but it's very, very low. And you're just gonna suck the health dry until you can. But Giga Drain does not heal much. Like, oh, up! Oh. No, that doesn't do anything because it's ghost type. Wake up! Come on! You're gonna get five turns of sleep out of me, aren't you? Keep doing Hex. I would encourage you to use Hex again. Because otherwise, it's gonna be fatal. Yes! Speaking of being fatal, you're done. <laughs> like Snorlax wakes up just long enough to do something and then goes back to sleep. Skilladurge. Um, you dragon type. I probably need to switch. No! Not dragon type! Oh no. Then no, it's Skeledurge. That's the evolution of Fue Coco. And he's ghost and fire. Okay, um, so at this point we actually need to Meow Skarada. He's gonna be 62, I think. I was like 18 points away from winning it the first time I battled him. <laughs> to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be picked into a corner like this. Skeletor. Pretty sure he's Ghost Fire. 61. Okay. That's fine. We're going to be weak against his fire attacks, but we're strong against his ghost attacks. So his ghost attacks will not be very effective. If the AI continues like it has, it's going to end up using fire attack attacks against me anyway. So, full restore on. It is full restore, right? HP and conditions. Okay. On this feller. That'll wake him up. Get him full healed. Very well. It seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Okay. Is it a ghost Terra type? Please? Because that's going to change everything. Please, ghost Terra type? Fire Terra type. So he's no longer ghost. But his ghost type moves. Will still be ghosty. You take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. That hurts. That's probably one shot. Yeah. And a spinach tag rises every time. I don't think I have anything to stand. Oh, there's a pool. Tatsugiri. 
This could be good too, because I'm water type. Yeah, let's try... Tatsugiri. I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk with Umbreon. Do I have any max revive? I don't remember. Let's go Tatsugiri. See if we can get a move off. 53 to 61. That's a pretty big. Uh... Difference. No battery, I know. I know. You're fine. Um. It's a special attack. If he goes fire with Thing, it'll be not very effective. It'll also be a special attack, so I should be able to do it. Let's try it. This is dark on dragon. No! And that's, that's a special attack! Oh, you are in so much trouble, Skeledurge! Thank you, oh, thank you, Tatsugiri. Okay, um... I don't get to go first, though. And that's a problem. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to... Y you served well, Tatsugiri. Target is attacked with a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. We're not fast enough. We are fast enough! Yes! That's so cute, my little sushi fish! Uh, coming in clutch! Good job, fish! Nice work. How strong you've grown. <laughs> 26,000 because we got Pikachu out there with the amulet coin. Nice! D Tatsugiri! Well now, Master Levi. It seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Ha! I told you. I knew it. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassio's P's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I thought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. Really? Then why didn't you just do that last time after I lost, instead of making me come back and battle you again? <laughs> but it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it, surely, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, leave this in your hands. Time! <laughs> Hold on. Was it time or was it rhyme that was the gym leader? It's gotta be rhyme. So these two are connected. Rhyme and time. But, uh... It's okay. You there. What do you think you're doing? Don't make me battle her right away. I haven't healed. Ah, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clevel. 
I came here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Um, so, funny story, that actually really makes sense after spending almost an hour battling this guy the second time. So, people are bound to report it, especially since it was right in front of the front doors. Only the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Ah, no, if I could just explain. You see, it was a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuse is weak worse than a stunkey's behind. A stunkey's b, -b, -b behind Uh-huh. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Levi. <laughs> You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no, anything but that, I implore you. Uh. Okay, so apparently I need to those doors in order to find the Cassiopeia. Oh, everybody's been healed. Um, we do have a problem, though. There's about zero chance that these are strong enough to deal with Cassiopeia. Actually, deal with Cassiopeia. Um, let's go to the map, see what it says. Apparently, I do have to go inside. The Academy in the Dark of Night for Battle Against Cassiopeia in the Schoolyard. Okay, well, it looks like night. And, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and save this. Since we defeated Director Cassiopeia, I told you that was super sketchy. That uh, the way he commented on that just didn't make any sense. Or he tried to convince me, but he wasn't he wasn't confident enough. Okay, I am here. Are you Cassiopeia? Are you Cassiopeia? Two types, steel type moves. It's so hard to figure out the type of matchups of Pokemon with two types. Steel type moves are super effective against fairy type moves. Pokemon, did I get that right? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. Books I could read. Maybe I can just go take a nap in the nurse's office. This kid Arvin. This kid Arvin in my class seems like he's been having a rough time since like last year. I know how hard it must be for him. This is kind of a cool studying area. Zzzz, snare two. Just, just five more minutes, Mom. If not, your mother. Bugs is a books. Oh, it's Murkrow. Why are there Murkrow up there? I can't ride and ride on in the school. Oh, wait, I bet it's also gonna say I can't bring out my Pokemon. Look at this. This is such a ripoff. I can't bring out my Pokemon in the school, but everybody else can. Even the Murkrow gonna be here. Obviously, entering this school didn't. But I may have to reset the uh, schoolyard in order to. Hey, what was up over there? <laughs> Nimona is waiting for us at the uh, Pokemon League, and there's a uh, place we can fly to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. We'll step outside and see how bad the battle's gonna be with Cassiopeia. Um, but I don't know if we'll try to forget it. I mean, we're already at an hour on this video. We'll see. I try to 
try to keep them in an hour as much as I can. Is it dark yet? Does it count? I'm confused. Uh, uh, never mind. I know. I know what I did wrong. Yeah, come on out, Pikachu. Join me inside. I need to go in here. Talk to the TV. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the schoolyard. Nurse's office. Okay, we're going to go to these places first. And then we'll go check them out. Hello. Mimi. Students call Nurse Miriam Mimi. I tried using that nickname with her once, but she glared at me. That's fair. Look, look! Laffy looks so cute when it's sleeping. Look at it, look at its face! So sleepy and cute! It's also, uh, scooting around while it sleeps. Eevee! Pika! Okay. Talk to you. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Yes. Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. Well, not exactly. I'm just terrible at doing my school-related things while I'm out on my treasure hunt. <laughs> you must be Levi, right? Everybody's talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently, you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, but my magical little phone caught me, so I was safe. And even picked a fight with Team Star. Um, I actually took down the entire organization, thank you. Except for the boss, I'm headed out to do that now. Can you give me some extra band-aids? I'm gonna need them. Oh yeah, you've started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kinda bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach. And students only come here to skip class. So yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal! You became slightly closer with Nurse Mirio. I'm not sure what the friendship ratings are for. I'm supposed to talk to somebody. Oh no, that's probably still Cassiopeia. Hey there, come on in. Everybody's welcome. Hmm, Levi, have you toughened up a bit? Yes. <laughs> oh, so you're tough. You're, you, so you know your tough stuff, right? Huh? So you know your tough stuff. Huh? Haha, <laughs> but seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of all the crazy experiences you're having on your treasure hunt. You need to tell me about what you've been up to. Okay. Talk, speak, speak, noise, treasure hunt stuff. I uh, fell off a tower. But my phone caught me again, because it's a, it's a nice floaty phone. Wow, that's super cool. <laughs> Sure, I'm jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand. I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know? I can't teach classes or anything like that. I couldn't pass the certification exam to be an actual health teacher. I took it so many times, but no luck. So here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about. But you're just such a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. That does happen when you literally can't talk. <laughs> I hope you still come see me, even if I talk your ear off like this. Well, I suppose. You became even closer with Nurse Miriam. Like that? Are you tired? Why not lie down and have a quick rest? So I can just go over here and be like, hey, let me sleep. There is a, uh, 
Hatterene and a Ralts. Sleeping on the couch. Oh, that's cute. Flaffy, yeah, I, I got you. But this, look at the Ralts. Okay, so nothing else for me. No free potions, no, uh... Okay. I'm leaving now. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the director's office, but... Give me just a moment. Okay. Um, oh, Dormer. That could be fun. Let's go check on the director. See what this director says. If he's gotten in too much trouble for uh, doing things. I want to play with the machines. I want to I wanna play with the stuff. I want to make buttons and do gadgets and gizmos and things. Please? Please, I can just, I want to, I want to push a button. I don't know what that green thing is, but I want to play with it. Can I, can I watch TV? It's a rock. Oh, it's fossils. Hey, I know a guy back in all the other regions. He can restore these fossils. They call him a fossil maniac. Probably because he's kind of a maniac. Ooh, did I click on the computer? No, I clicked on the director. Oh, why hello, Master Levi. How's your treasure hunt coming along? How is your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Um, yeah, it's been great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. So go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Lit. Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind of late. If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I, I, I believe it to be some sort of slang. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what does he mean? Chugi. Um. So. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's used to reference being outdated and uncool, which I'm guessing is something that uh, was used in reference to the director, and that's part of the reason why he's concerned. But it may just be a legitimate made-up... Oh, no. Nope. That's... I was... I was right. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, let me see what the pronunciation is, so.
That literally doesn't help. Um, I don't know. I believe it's Chugi. It's definitely Chu something. It's either Yi or G. Chu G doesn't seem like it would make sense because the, the emphasis is really heavy on the Chu. So it's most likely Chu Yi. Um, and it does, in fact, mean being outdated and uncool, although I really want to see this one. For the sake of comedy, I'm going to do this one, because this is probably... Had I not known what it was... Okay, had I not actually known what it was, I would have speculated it was this, but... It's a really chewy gumball. <laughs> Uh, it's a very chewy gumball, so it is some sort of convection that children are partial to recently. <laughs> I shall have to try one of these chewy sweets at some time. Oh my. Oh, this is great. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. <laughs> I'm sorry, Di Director Clavel. I have, uh, I have... Let's call it payback for lying to me about uh, Cassiopeia. <laughs> I shall have to try one of these chuggies. Behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. I'm, I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. Mm -hmm. You became slightly closer with Director Clavel. Um, sir, can I make a correction to my previous statement? Ah, Master Jume, how kind of you to stop by. I must say I'm pleased to see you on school grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place. But it does one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there is something I'd very much like to ask you. Is it a new word? Oh. I understand you have joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy. But if I may ask, which of our fact members has made the most favorable impression on you? Oh, so you're saying I have to pick favorites now? Is that how it goes? The, the obvious answer is going to be the director himself, you know, because I'm talking to him, so why would you say the director was the, uh, <laughs> Mr. Jack, Mr. Mrs. Time, Miss Ryford, Mr. Salvatore, Miss Dendra, Mr. Hassel, Mr. Seguaro, that's the name of a cactus. Nurse Miriam, Director Clavel. Mr. Jack. Probably him, because he gave me the attack that I can't use on my Pokemon for uh, making it easier to catch them. I can't use it on the Pokemon that I wanted to use it on, is what it comes down to. Um, but probably Mr. Jack. Oh, ho, Mr. Jack from biology class, you say? He also gave me the, uh, or he made the uh, Pokédex app, and I've used that a few times. Yes, he is a fine teacher, a most earnest and hardworking fellow. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at Uva Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to our students' ongoing education and well-being. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Levi. Blip. Yay! Can we do it again? Thank you for the visit, Master Levi. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. Uh, you mean Clive? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. <laughs> but now, lest I forget, there is another matter I would very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? 
<laughs> Honestly, things come out so many so so often that it might be back around to Pompadours. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm partial, as you can tell, both in game and right here, um, with the long locks. Keep it long, long and enjoyable. It also, uh, when you're cold, doubles as a scarf. We're all about that uh, multi-purpose operation here. <laughs> Ho oh, oh, ho, is that so? I suppose I have indeed seen some of the Academy's male students boarding such a style. <laughs> Could it be, then, that the Pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I'm... <laughs> Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Uh, that is to say... <laughs> Never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Levi. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted by Doctor Director Clavel. Wow. Do you have anything else to say? If you ever need help with any school-related matters, I shall be happy to lend an ear. Okie dokie. I don't know what uh, uh, doing that level leveling up the trust friendliness does for me here, but uh, we're going to the door. Oh, entrance hall. The nurse is waiting me in the entrance hall. We're going to the dorm room first. Dorm room. Those letters are definitely translatable. Stuff on the wall. I can't talk to you. Ooh, study desk. It's got plenty of handy space to put things to the side, too. A lamp. I love lamp. Uh, tree. Want to lie down for a rest? Sure, why not? We just sleeping all over the place. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Got a full kitchen in my dorm room. Look at this. I wasn't even allowed a hot plate in my dorm room when I went to college. It's your own personal kitchen. Now you have that microwave. And this is presumably a little fridge. This would have been slick, is it? I mean, t talking about dorm rooms. This leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. I thought that was a closet, because the other time it was a closet, but I guess there's coat hooks out here. Lights. Oh. Yes, we're going to the entrance hall to see what the nurse wants. And trance hall. That doesn't say entrance hall. I think that's still dorm room. Hi. Oh, hey, Levi. Sorry, were you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's office lately. Did you need something from me? Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> Are you Pokemon hurt? Just a sec. Yay! A little first aid. You must really be having an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it is pretty unusual for me to be out at the nurse's office like this. <laughs> well, I'm actually doing a bit of see it. Cool. Thought I'd try my best at the health teacher certification one more time. You can do it! But just so you know, it's totally not because I am inspired by somebody working hard at their treasure hunt, okay? Yay! She's not talking about me! Oh wait, yeah, she probably is. Well, maybe I am, just a little bit. So, you know, uh, thanks. Yeah. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> Uh oh, my break time's almost over. I know you'll be cheering me on, Levi. You feel trusted by Nurse Miriam. Hi. 
Are you tired? Why not lie down and have a quick rest? Where do you suggest I do such a thing? Okay, uh, we're not gonna make it out to see Cassiopeia this time. Um, we'll have to pick up from here in the next episode. So, on behalf of myself and uh, our little adorable fishy that uh, clutched the match against what's his name? Clive slash um, Clavel slash Cassiopeia. Well, the, the Cassiopeia fraud. Um, he did phenomenal, that little fishy guy. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, please like the video and subscribe to us there on YouTube. Um, there was some interesting comedy in this episode that, that I'll probably end up clipping because why not? Um, let's see. Don't forget, we do stream these videos live over at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. Um, we, while you're over there, make sure you follow us on Twitch so we can send you a notification of uh, the next time we go live. Which is normally Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Um, when there are changes to the schedule, we post those to our Facebook and Instagram pages, so make sure you're following us there so you can stay up to date on those. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us there. Otherwise, that's all I've got for you. I appreciate you guys. You're awesome. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of... What's your favorite Pokemon? That's what I want to know. Out of all of the generations, it doesn't have to be somebody that's specifically in this generation or not, but out of all the generations, all the available Pokemon, um... Let me know who your favorite is. We may have gone over that before, but it'd be great. Let me know. Uh, I'll be responding to comments and stuff. So, um... Otherwise, until next time, stay random. <laughs>